Okay, so today I have a sushi date with my friend and gotta pick up some groceries and then I'm gonna spend the rest of the day working on prep for NaNoWriMo so I thought I'll just bring you along with me kind of vlog style and walk you through my process for prepping for NaNoWriMo. Okay, so lunch went really well and uh, now I'm ready to start working on Preptober. First things first for October, need to establish my writing space. So this is where I do my writing. Sometimes people find it really nice to work outside of the house, but I luckily have this whole room to just be my office space, and that's worked really well for me. So this is my desk, and then also this is the guest bed. So I can set up two separate spaces, sort of when I'm starting to get in a little bit of a slump, I can move locations. This laptop I have is actually extremely old, so it no longer has a battery, so it can't travel with me to like a coffee shop. So it needs to stay where it's plugged in. So it's gonna be here or over here. But as you can see, I've let this space become kind of a disaster zone. So I'm going to clean up while the cat's run around like maniacs at my feet and get this space prepped so that I can actually use it for writing. my snacky snack of choice for NaNoWriMo. <laughs> little half gloves to keep my hands warm. This is the USB I've been using since pretty much college, I guess. I think that's when I got this, and it's been enough for writing ever since. So now I have a cleared off space where I can lounge in the bed. There's also the heated cat bed over by my feet so the cats can sit and be warm with me. I'll probably bring a blanket in here to sit with. I have my gloves. I'll bring some more snacks and things when it gets closer to the time. My desk is mostly cleared off enough so that I feel like I'm not cluttered. And so I think my space is ready for the upcoming month. Okay, so the next step for planning for NaNoWriMo is kind of getting to know what my weeks are going to look like for November. So I already know that my days off are Sunday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And because of the way I had structured kind of earlier on this year, Wednesday is my great writing day. So I can count on knowing that I'm going to try and catch up on words or get over the word count on Wednesdays. So that already I'm planning. Wednesdays are booked for writing. I'm gonna make a day of it. I'm gonna make all my little snacks and things in the morning and cozy on up and make sure that Wednesday is absolutely just a writing day. Then on Thursday, I'll tackle any chores and things that I need to get done and just kind of keep up with writing. And if I need a break day in the week, Thursday's gonna be my break day. Sunday then, I'm going to try and also catch up on writing, but maybe not stress about it so much. So Wednesday is my heavy writing day where I need to make sure that 2,000 is my minimum rather than 1,667. Now, also <laughs> planning for my week, I know that for me, I'm going to be out of town starting the Wednesday before Thanksgiving on the 21st. So while I think I can get some writing done while I'm going to visit my parents, I can't guarantee that. So for me, I want to try and hit 50,000 words in 20 days this year, just because if I can do that, I'll have at least beaten the challenge. If it turns out that life is just too much and I don't have time after I leave for Thanksgiving. So I'm trying to reach it by the 20th but not over pressuring myself. 
So 2,000 words is gonna be more like a minimum goal <laughs> for each day. And it's totally fine, like the last week I'll still have, if I need to catch up, if I need to keep going, totally fine. But I am gonna be, there's gonna be more hectic stuff going on in my life. So for me, I need to know that I really got a front load. I've gotta make sure that in the first three weeks, the majority of my words for the month are written. Other than that, I work kind of normal hours, so I know that I have my evenings free. I'm going to start planning it so that on work days, I am not gonna worry about writing in the morning. I'm just gonna get myself to work, do a little bit of planning during my breaks at work, but not really worry about writing or anything like that. And when I get home, I'll make dinner, feed the cats, and then sit down and write while I'm doing, while I'm eating, and for the next at least solid hour, each night at least one hour is going to be dedicated to writing. And I think that's going to be the best chance for me with my schedule. So that's kind of how I've structured it out. You're going to want to look at your schedule as well and just kind of take a peek. Things that you know to anticipate, kind of work around them. And you probably also have a day of the week that tends to be less busy. Like for me, Wednesday is going to be my great writing day where I'm just going to absolutely give myself a little retreat, break out the good coffee, break out the good snacks, and just really make myself cozy and work on writing. And then of course having a catch-up day for yourself mentally is good too, which for me is going to be for Thursday. So that's kind of how I'm planning for my month to go. Obviously the day-to-day -day depends upon many, many factors, but just kind of knowing where my good days and my bad days are going to be and that I know for me, in order to make the goal, I need to be a little bit towards the front end and try and hit the goal a little bit early. So yeah, on to the next step, I think. Okay, so the next phase for me is gonna be a little bit of outlining and brainstorm, just to kind of get the ideas going. So this is gonna be the second book in my circuit series, which I have written a draft of this second book before but that was when the first book was quite a few drafts back so a lot of things are going to change one of the benefits for me is that the previous draft of the first book had a lot more scenes at the end that I decided to cut because they kind of tied over to the second book and I realized the first book kind of needed to end before we transition into the second book so a lot of the things, the events that were going to happen at the end of the first book are now happening at the beginning. So I have a little bit of a head start in that as long as I want to keep a lot of the elements from those scenes, I already have a very good idea of what they're going to sound like and be paced like. So I have that benefit. I think I'm going to write the prologue during October so that that will already be done and not be part of my words for NaNoWriMo, so I will be working on that this month. But for this one, I'm just going to sit and kind of brainstorm the elements that I want to happen and get going with that. So this is sort of my rough, rough brainstorm, and that would be leading up to the first big plot point, the first inciting incident, um, right before the first major conflict. So that's pretty good for day one of planning. Uh, I think I'll work on this a little bit longer, I won't just bore you and leave the camera on and come back when I have finished kind of my basic brainstorming for the whole chapter. Okay, so I've moved locations now. Uh, I kind of got to a stopping point in my brainstorming where I feel like I need to think a little bit harder about what happens next. I already wrote myself two encounters with the Pirate Queen with them escaping. I feel like there needs to be more conflict in between there 
I think I need to do a little more <laughs> soul searching or a little more like talking to some people who have a vague idea of what I'm doing. Um, so I didn't get that much further like writing wise. I just have to decide what I'm doing with some of these characters and if I want to go the direction that I feel like is obvious now or if I really want to stay with some of my favorite things that I wrote the first time I wrote this and kind of letting myself let those things go if they're not going to benefit the plot. So that was a successful brainstorming day though. It is still early on in the month and I can do that soul surging now rather than getting to that point in NaNoWriMo and finding myself out of block. So I've definitely got at least the first week's worth of brainstorming pretty down solid. I'm still pretty confident about everything leading up to the first inciting incident and then at that point what I truly want to happen from there and where I want the story to go branching differently from how it went the first time. I just need to think a little bit harder about that. But so things are going well so far. Hopefully your novel is coming along just as well as mine. So far is your prep for your novel for next month. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any NaNoWriMo related questions, any ideas for things you'd like to see related to that. Are you enjoying, I know a lot of YouTubers are doing some NaNoWriMo related videos or Preptober related videos. Uh, do you enjoy watching those or am I just kind of adding to, you know, preaching to the choir crowd? Because I do feel like NaNoWriMo is the kind of thing where you kind of have to dive in feet first and learn how to swim along the way. But at the same time, you know, it's it's good to have somebody who kind of knows the route to tell you that it's going to be okay. So if you do have any questions, if you would like any help, I'm here for you and I'll be doing some more videos. I will tell you more about how my prep is going along and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.